Keith Paints. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Keith Paints. Today, I'm making a chaos altar to go with my peasant level dungeon tiles. I found this piece of styrofoam with the pieces that I made the stone pillars out of, and I knew it would be good for something. I'm going to put it on a 12 inch square base and fill up the rest of the space with the same sort of tiles I made my peasant tiles out of. So I put them all on top here just to get an idea of how the spacing would look. I cut one edge off with a sturdy kitchen knife. I start by laying down a piece of 5mm craft foam across the whole base. This will make it the same height as my peasant level dungeon tiles. I used hot glue this time instead of super glue. I was concerned about the thickness of the glue, but as long as you press it down while it's still hot, it doesn't seem to be an issue. I drew a 1.5 inch grid onto the foam. This will aid in the placement of the tiles. I glued down the styrofoam but wasn't happy with the placement, so I pried it off with my metal ruler, remeasured, and glued again. I used 10mm craft foam to make stairs up to the altar. I didn't measure the pieces, I just test placed them and cut them to fit. I did keep a couple Chaos Space Marines on hand to make sure there was room for them to stand on all of the stairs. After gluing down the stairs, I started making the retaining wall. My goal was to make every stone look like it had been cut to fit the space that was there. I used scraps of 10mm craft foam and cut them into the shapes, and then beveled all the edges with a pair of scissors. This took a lot of test placement and cutting. I cut some bricks to bend around the corners so they would look like larger stones. I made the mistake of putting this one on top though, so you can actually see where I cut it.
cut up tiles for the floor out of 2mm craft foam. This was a great project for using up my scraps. I attached them with a glue gun, filling up each square before moving on to the next. I wasn't really sure how to go about doing the design for the top. I started by drawing the design on a piece of craft foam, thinking I would cut it out and glue each piece down. After a bit of reflection, I decided to draw the pattern on the styrofoam and then cut the tiles to fit. I started with the 8 pointed star and then filled in the rest. It didn't fit perfectly into the 1.5 inch grid like the rest of it, which somehow I hadn't noticed until now. So there are two rows that are 1.5 inches wide, and then I split the remaining space between the other two rows. Though I didn't draw a grid this time, I just sort of lined it up with the edges and with the tiles on the floor. I wanted to make a fancy barrier around the edge, so I drilled holes in the pointy edge of a bunch of skewers, and then used another skewer to punch holes in the platform, which I then stuck the fence posts in. I then went back and used a bit of super glue to try and hold them all in place. Finally for the build portion, I threaded a needle and pulled it through all the fence posts, leaving a bit of slack so it will hang. It didn't hang very well, so I coated it all with a bit of PVA glue to try and help it. On to painting. I covered the entire piece with this plain black gesso, being very diligent to get in between all the tiles. I probably spent half the time priming just looking for white spots.
I began painting Xandri dust on all the stones, but didn't have that much left in my pot, so I decided to spray paint it instead. So I began masking off all the tiles. Pulling off the masking tape left marks all over some of the tiles, but these aren't exactly supposed to be new tiles, so, so I just left it. I gave the tiles a base coat of Mechanicus Standard Grey, and then gave them another coat of Mechanicus Standard, this time stippling it on to add some more texture. Next, I stippled on Dawnstone, focusing on the edges of each tile. I guess I forgot to hit record for the beginning, but I covered all the tiles in Agrax Earthshade, and then also used it to paint in all the recesses of the stonework. I missed a little bit here and there when doing the tiles, so I had to go back with some Xandri dust on the stones to cover it up. Then I layered Ushabti bone onto the stones, avoiding all the recesses. After the wash was dry, I began edge highlighting all of the tiles with Celestra Grey. It may be that I should have added the spiky fence after the fact, because it made this part quite a bit more difficult. I did manage to finish without making myself bleed though. For all of the stonework, I edge highlighted them with Screaming Skull. I painted all the fence posts with lead belcher, and then I used retributor armor on all of the ropes in between them. And finally, I used Carolberg Crimson to pick out the eight-pointed star. So what do you think of my chaos altar? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.